I had an Asian father and a black and Spanish mother. So I don't understand how somebody can be just black when clearly one of their parents is not black. So for y'all or for anybody else to sit there and say that somebody of mixed descent is just black, is they're not. They're not just black. Okay, and this one drop rule, that came from the slave days. We are no longer in the slave days. So that one drop rule, it, it's, it, doesn't make, it doesn't mean anything. There's plenty of white people out there who has a drop of black in them. And do y'all consider them black? No, y'all consider them white. And it's just so, it, it's so stupid that people sit there and try and tell people, what they are. You don't tell us what we are. I know who my father is and what he is, who my grandparents are. I know who my mothers and, and grandmothers and stuff are. I know that. And other people who are who go through this know that too. Little story, let it be known. It, it's it's just mighty funny that it's, it it happens in the African American community, and it's just like I don't understand it. When I was in kindergarten, I had hair to the middle of my back, and these little and you know you have sleep time in kindergarten. I wake up to these little black boys who trying to cut my hair because all the girls in the class liked my hair, and the teacher liked my hair. It's not about me being. What what is the word for it? Trying to be, trying to say being mixed is better than anything. But it seems like we go through a lot of stereotypes. Like we're stuck up, we're this and that. When that's not the case, we shouldn't have to prove we are black. We shouldn't have to prove our, our ethnicity to anyone. We shouldn't have to explain it to anyone. Because you're not us. So, if anything, you should be happy that we don't deny one or the other. We embrace both or everything that we're mixed with or any person is mixed with. And I think everyone should do that. And I don't think anyone should sit there and try and tell people what they are just because they look a certain way or they have one drop of black in them. One drop. Last time I checked, the body isn't made up of one drop. So where's the other, what, 95% of it? And if you look at that, that weighs out the one drop. It just seems like people are just so iniquitous these days towards people who embrace everything they are. Like, we're supposed to sit here and say, I'm just black. No, I'm not just black. She's not just black. He's not just black. People need to stop self-hating on other people because self-hate is ugly and when you hate you self-hate on yourself what if you have a mixed child what are you going to tell them oh you're just black what are you going to tell that other parent that my child will be raised to know that they are black no that child needs to be raised to know that they are black and white or black and italian or black and asian or something Don't deny a person of who they are. Stop self-hating on on people in general, whether it be black, white, Asian, Hispanic, mixed, whatever. Just stop. If you feel the need that you need to tell somebody that they're this and that, you need to stop, look at yourself, pull that back, and go about your business. Because it's not your business to sit here and tell somebody who they are when you don't know a damn thing about them.